I believe that we need to really look at the areas we know the areas that are needed. We know the areas that are not being, uh, services not being provided. But I think it will be good to have a general idea of where we are, not only for the people in Delaware and the people in Utah and Kansas to know, but also for everyone to see on a map the areas that are not being covered. And the second, the second challenge, and I think is uh, at least is a question that I hope to have some answers here today, and that is why is it that we cannot use other utilities um, super, uh, in infrastructure to carry out the broadband? Now, Facebook is one of my main communication. Everybody knows who I am today. I mean, I use it. I tell them who I meet, who I see, and you'd be surprised how it just rolls over. It's, it's evolutionary, so, uh, it, it, you know, it's not rocket scientists. I'm going to get it. I'm going to be in it. We going to be in it because it's skin in the game. It's economic development. It's wealth creation. And we ought to be about that. We ought to get our piece of the pie. The kids are being fed a constant dose of negativity. They're being poisoned. So if it's not going to be on television, the only way to reach these kids is going to be through broadband. Because they're all on the phones, they're all on the computers, so we need to create more images, more images. So ultimately, what we're talking about as all of you go back to your communities is about how do we empower those communities. I think here's another uh, area where policies don't always um, align with reality. Uh, in my state, um, the budgets for our newsletters are based on the electorate, the voting population. It's not the same thing as the residential population. And if you are always cutting out that same group, whether it's because of a language barrier, because of a, a geographic barrier, um, because of a technology barrier, then we will never really expand the discourse that's necessary to affect good public policy. Today, the country is at a tipping point. And that tipping point is essentially defining winners and losers if we don't do this right. It's going to show who are the beneficiaries and who are those that are deprived from benefiting from a mechanism that has the ability to connect people to jobs, education, health care, their government uh, moving forward. It's not just for African Americans, but if the young person in the south side of Chicago, the African American young boy that does not succeed at this, the young woman in the barrios of East LA doesn't succeed at this. If the immigrant family in California doesn't succeed at this, if the leaders on our tribal nations do not succeed at this, we all lose.